I've got here in front of me is Palmer amaranth. It's often referred to as just pigweed. There's a few key identifying characteristics with Palmer amaranth. The first key identifying characteristic is its long petiole. So if we take this leaf off and we fold this petiole over the top of this leaf, the petiole, which is essentially just the little stem that attaches the leaf to the main part of the plant. If that petiole is just as long as the leaf or a little bit longer, there's a good chance that this is probably Palmer amaranth. Another identifying characteristic for Palmer is when we look down over the top of Palmer amaranth, it kind of looks like a poinsettia. So it kind of fills in all the spaces, which makes Palmer amaranth extremely aggressive. One last identifying characteristic is the seed head on Palmer amaranth. Palmer amaranth has male and female plants. The female plants, once they mature, they'll develop a really stiff seed head that actually kind of hurts to the touch. Of course, if you're identifying Palmer amaranth by the seed head, you're identifying it way too late. Palmer amaranth has developed resistance to a number of different herbicide modes of action. So it's absolutely critical that we don't let Palmer amaranth out of the soil. The boundary is an excellent option where we've got metribuzin and the esmetola clove. Both are very effective for control of Palmer amaranth. When we talk about post-emergence control of Palmer amaranth, our best option is probably our Flexstar GT, providing post-emergence efficacy. For control of Palmer amaranth and corn, we've got Acuron and Acuron Flexi, which can be applied pre-emergence. All of those herbicides provide excellent residual control of Palmer amaranth. When we talk about post-emergence control of Palmer amaranth and corn, we've got Halix GT. We also have post-emergence flexibility with Acuron and Acuron Flexi. 